Hey, what's going on guys? Cam here. Uh, today I wanted to talk about, kind of review the Feutech A2000 gimbal. I uh, just picked it up a couple weeks ago, haven't got to play with it too much just yet, but I thought we'd balance it, set it up, and then go out and shoot on the hill a little bit here in uh, a couple hours. So let's get to it. Cool, that wasn't too bad. A uh, little stop motion there and we got it all set up and balanced. We're actually using it now as we were in the previous shot. So it's on the gimbal on a tripod right now. I'll show you the GoPro view here in a second. But let's just get out there. I'm gonna go ahead and meet with my buddy Ryan and TJ and try to get some shots of those guys riding around uh, Breck here in a second. So we'll see you out there. Well guys, that about wraps it up. Um, overall, it was really helpful. You know, it definitely improved the stabilization, obviously, of filming while moving. Um, definitely some quirks though. There was a couple of shots where it was really shaky and that was at super slow-mo. So if we played those at regular speed, it'd be super choppy and really bumpy, almost like it was worse than handheld. So I'll have to chalk that up to user error. I really hope it was my fault not the gimbal's fault that it was doing that like twitch shake thing but um overall really cool really fun product to use uh works great for snowboard filming ski filming right now i'd use the karma grip and the hero 6 honestly um yeah you're shooting in wide it's all fisheye and gopro-y but uh this isn't quite perfect yet for me i need to again readjust tweak some things and really dial it in just right before i'm ready to use it on a professional job so something i didn't know about this gimbal beforehand was the auto rotation mode it actually has almost like a motion control time lapse function built in. Um, you hit the function button four times and then set your position one, lock it in, set your position two, lock it in, and then it'll actually uh, move from position one to position two based on how fast or slow you tell it to. And it's really cool for time lapses. It could be really great for some night lapses too, uh, some long exposure star stuff. Um, would be really cool with that. It basically saves you from buying a, a slider, almost, uh, a motorized slider. Um, one thing I did notice is when I was balancing it and setting it up on my coffee table, which is kind of flimsy, uh, lightweight and kind of cheap probably, uh, it was definitely doing some shaking. I think the motors were trying to adjust too much and it was actually vibrating and like shaking the, the camera the entire time. So you'll probably see some of that. Um, but if you are going to do those time lapses, the long exposure stuff, definitely want to have it on a tripod locked off. Uh, it just needs more weight to counteract its own movements basically. So. Watch out for that, but the uh, auto rotation mode is really cool. I can't wait to do some more of that. Um, yeah, that about wraps it up, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Battery's already almost dead. That's awesome. Piece of shit. What's going on, guys? Cam here. Mount a GoPro to that so we can connect a... Are you f so we're going to set up the the front for a uh, behind the scenes view